All right. So what we have is, for this problem, we have two points that are on a line, okay? So what they ask us to do is they ask us to find the slope or the rate of change, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, this, they told us to find the slope, right? All right, well, one thing you guys got to understand is slope and rate of change are pretty much are exactly the same thing. The, um, the really the only difference is slope is kind of what we talk about is a little bit more specific. It's the change in your y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates. So we talked about rate of change was your change in your y over your change in your x, right? Where y was your dependent variables and x was your independent variables. Well, slope is the exact same thing, but it's just talking about the change in the y coordinates compared to the change in the x coordinates. So what we need to do when given a graph like this, we need to determine what those coordinates are. Now, this problem gets a little bit tricky because they're not going by ones, they're going by twos, right? So I need to determine what is this coordinate. So I look up here, if I go two, four, six, it's not, it's between six and eight, therefore I'm going up seven, right? So I have, and then how far to the left I had to go? Well, it's between negative two and four. So this coordinate, I'll call negative three, seven. Now remember, the x value always goes first, then the y value, right? Every coordinate point goes x comma y. Can I please see your two eyes looking up here intently like you guys are like, yes, okay, I'm understanding. Because I don't like going over this stuff <coughs> over and over and over again. All right? Then I look over at this point, and I say, well, what is this point? Well, how far over from my origin, 0, 0, did I have to go? Well, I had to travel three units to the right, and one unit down. So this point is three comma negative one. So now to find the change in my values, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could just find, look at the numbers and say, to go from uh, change in y, to go from negative one to seven, what do I have to do? Well, you could say you had to go up how many units? Eight, right? And the other, an easy way to do this is to draw what we call a slope triangle. And what the slope triangle kind of helps you do is kind of count those units. So what you do is you draw a vertical line and a horizontal line and make a right angle triangle. Then what you can do is you can count. Well, from negative one to get all the way up to seven, you had to go up eight units, right? Then to go from positive three to negative three, how far did you have to go? Six units, right? Now. Here's where it kind of gets a little tricky. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain this the best way I can, all right? If you guys notice it, when you go from left to right, if I go from this point to this point, going, I went over six, right? So that would be a positive six. Then if I go down, that's a positive or a negative eight. Negative eight, so I could have six over a negative eight, right? Or if you counted it from right to left, that means you go up eight, which is positive, but then you go to the left six, which would make that what? Negative six. So you could have a negative six or over a positive eight. Now we've talked about fractions, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter if your, if your denominator or your numerator is negative, it's still gonna be the exact same. So it still equals a negative six eighths, which, we know we can reduce, right? By dividing by two, it's gonna equal a negative three-fourths. Huh? What the X we need? Change in Y over change in X. Hang on, I just messed up that fourth column. Why don't you say something? Sorry, I didn't realize that you put six. The change in Y, right, it's eight. Screw the video, I'll delete it. The change in y is what? Eight over six, right? So I go up eight, negative six. Or it's eight over, or negative eight over six. To the right six, down eight, right? It's change in your y over change in your x. Say something, right? Don't make me make those stupid mistakes. I'm thinking about other things. You guys need to be watching that, right? Change in Y over change in X, right? Y over X. So your answer is a negative four thirds. That is your slope. 
right? Guess what? I'll still put that video up. Yes. Yeah. Hey, let you know. My character is what? Isn't it?